So another, another year passed, another new year arriving and this opportunity to review and to um, set our sights on a, a life in which we can live more closely in accord with the wisdom of the Buddha. And that's not a very profound thing necessarily, it means just orienting our lives in such a way um, that we protect our minds from defilement, which are the cause of suffering, and let go of defilements that are already uh, crowding into our minds. It's a life we're giving more importance to instilling virtues within our heart, beginning with mindfulness and patience and kindness and the virtues which are the causes and conditions for happiness. But these are always, whatever the year, whatever the era, these are the perennial problems of human beings, problems of suffering and happiness, and how to reduce, eliminate suffering, how to produce and to um, bring our happiness to maturity and to make to stabilize it. So with all the challenges and all the uh, pressures and the uh, triggers that are inclining us towards anxiety, fear and depression, despair even in the, uh, at this particular time, then like you to, to really observe to what extent we make things so much worse than they need to be um, through our thinking and through uh, lacking that inner culture, that inner ability to recognize toxic thinking and just very gently put it down. And so there are always going to be problems, always going to be challenges, but uh, we don't have to make them any worse than they need be. We can make them a lot better than they might be. We can learn from them. But this demands a, a culture of training, of education, of the way we live our lives, the way we act, the way we speak, and most importantly, our inner world, to turn attention into the inner world and learn how to recognize what's going on and to make discriminations as to what is worthy of uh, feeding and uh, cultivating uh, and what needs to be put down. And that's the work that accompanies our life in whatever um, sphere of um, activity we find ourselves, we're in a monastery or in a, uh, in a office building or at home with family. There's always this um, choice are we going to let our mind lead us along the path to suffering? Are we going to lead it the path out of suffering? So I would like to uh, wish everyone um, a, a new year in which uh, the suffering in your life uh, is reduced and the happiness, contentment uh, increases. May you all uh, lead a life in good health uh, and find some true fulfillment um, in performing your duties and your responsibilities um, and living a life which is aimed at your ha the happiness and benefit of yourself together with the happiness and benefit of others.